Who's your target market? You are your target market. Hi, it's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Lugs again, back for Monday's Eatsy Tips, our tips and tricks for a small crafter or artist to grow their Eatsy shop. So today we're going to talk about who your target market is, how to find that and what benefit it is to target a certain market. If this would be helpful to you, please hit subscribe below and come back next week for some more tips. But let's get on with today's video. So, something that used to be talked about all the time but less so much now is to find your target market. It seems people are so focused now on targeting their SEO to be found in the Etsy search. Now this is important but it is putting all your eggs in one basket. It's relying on Etsy to drive traffic for you. We want to also be able to think about driving traffic for ourselves so that yes you have your listings on Etsy but you're not solely relying on Etsy to drive your traffic because if you've read in the forums for any length of time what happens is that every now and again Etsy changes its search engine algorithm and this means that shops that have been bubbling along quite well for some time suddenly find they crash because they're no longer on the front page of the search. And it's quite right for Etsy to mess around with the algorithm to find out what works best for buyers but it can be devastating for some sellers who have just totally been relying on the sales they're getting from being found in search. So to be able to target a different market, it's best to try and think of who this target market is, who you're going to focus on and promote to. And this was always a confusing thing. People would say, you have to find your target market, find your target market. And I'd be, you know, what is, what is my target market? How do I find it? How do I focus on it? Until I realised that actually I am my target market. I am my target audience. So let me explain this. So as you as you hopefully already know, I make small sculptures of people's pets, mainly dogs. And part of the reason why I do this is because I'm a dog lover. I'm a dog owner. I love dogs. And I figured out that actually quite a lot of the people that I want to be selling to are also dog lovers. So this this is fantastic. This means that my target market hangs about in the places that I'm interested in hanging about. Now we've all seen people on Facebook pages or forums or something that only just seem to come on to spam their own work to go, look, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, and everyone's a bit fed up of it. But there's also the other end of the scale I hope we've all made friends on online forums, people who we don't even know in real life, but they make certain things and when you come a time that you're wanting to buy something, you'll think of them because they're a friend that you've met online. So this is two sides, two sides of the scale here. The one who's just spamming, they're just trying to promote themselves, actually do less well than the ones who go on with a genuine interest, connect with people and are actually not pushing down their their products into people's faces all the time, but they're having a genuine interest in what's going on. So that's what I, I thought about doing. I could target the market that was the people I already knew on the dog forums that I go on, the, the people that I follow, and all I needed to do was every now and again put a wee link to my work. For instance, uh, for quite a while I had my Etsy shop or my blog as a signature on my forums. I didn't need to spam about what I was doing, it was just there and if anyone was interested they'd have a look. Um, the, the same on Facebook pages, you join the page because you're interested, you have an interest in what's going on, you ask questions, you answer questions, you interact and then every now and again you drop in something about your work, something that might be of interest, not just going buy my stuff, buy my stuff, but for instance, I remember one time I was having to make a Rhodesian Ridgeback and I'd never actually seen one in real life. So I was able to post what I'd already made and ask, you know, what does the ridge look like? Someone help me with this. 
And so that's not just me spamming and going, look at my work, look at my work. It's a genuine question, but it lets people look at my work as well. So think about that. Why do you make what you make? It's usually going to be because you've got a love for these things. So if you paint landscapes, it's probably because you like to be outside looking at landscapes. So perhaps join a hill walking group, a mountaineering group or something like that where people are out in the landscapes that you love. If you are knitting baby hats it's probably because you either have had children not not that long ago or grandchildren. So go into grandma forums, you know, places where there's people that are like you that you would actually like to chat to. If you take beautiful pictures, then join groups of the places where you take pictures. Local groups would actually probably be really interested to see pictures you've taken of their area because they're proud of their area. And so let them see some of your pictures and talk to them. And also in these places, you can learn fantastic secret little places that you can go to that might be beautiful that you've never heard of. So it, it can work both ways. Your target market can help you get sales, but it can also help you improve what you're making. It also doesn't hurt to join the groups of the craft that you're in. I've actually sold some things to fellow needle felters and I've bought things from fellow needle felters and also look at groups with Etsy sellers. I know quite often in the past I've when I've been chatting to people and getting help and enjoying hanging about, when it's time to buy presents for people, I'm more likely to pick people out of the groups that I know people in that I've been chatting to and think, oh, there's there's Sophie there, she makes soap, or this person makes earrings, and I've been chatting to them for a year. I, I would love to buy from them. Totally the same, I'm sure people will buy from you because they've got to know you and they appreciate your work. So think of that. Promote where you are and what you love because you're surrounded by people like you. You are your target market. I really hope that helped a little bit and made some sense. If you're interested in things like this, remember and hit the subscribe button and come back every Monday for more Eatsy tips.